What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another review and unboxing video of the Hyperkin Retron 2 HD. Now what this will let you do is play NES, Super NES, and also Super Famicom games on your HD television. So guys, let's open this up and get into it. Here we go. Guys, well, I went ahead and took the liberty of uh, cutting the uh, stickers on the sides here. Uh, there's one up here and there's one at the bottom uh, off camera. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and open this up and check a look at what's inside. All right, as you open it up, uh, as you can see, here's the actual uh, console itself. Uh, looks like you got your controllers over here. Uh, so they usually have a nice little setup whenever they do these. So it's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and uh, take out the console first. As you can see, uh, it's pretty pretty sleek. Now it does have the little notch in the corner with the Hyperkin logo. Uh, it does have your NES and uh, Super NES uh, switches here. You have the reset button. Uh, got your uh, Super NES slot and the NES slot. In the back also, you're gonna have your um, connections for the um, 16 by nine and four by nine. Uh, you also have your um, Output for your HDMI and then also your regular uh, output there. I don't know why they put those on there, but you know, I guess some people will still have the old school ones. But at least you can play on your CRT TVs if you still have one. And then you have your power uh, connection right there. In the front here, you're going to see you have your uh, Super Nintendo plugins for the controllers and also your Nintendo. Uh, now you can use your original hardware, I believe, as well. Um, but it does come with two, one each. Uh, that is uh, Super Nintendo and uh, Nintendo controller, one of their new controllers, uh, premium controllers that is. Uh, and at the bottom here, you're going to see your uh, NTSC and uh, um, the uh, Japanese uh, switch as well. Um, PAL, I'm sorry. PAL switch as well. Um, so that's pretty neat there. Uh, I do like the translucent case there. It's pretty neat. Alright, so next up we have the instruction manual here. Um, just goes over everything. Um, goes over the setup and whatnot, um, setting up with the AV cable and also HD cable in the playing games section as well. Um, so it just tells you all the buttons and what they do and whatnot. So that's pretty neat there. All right, so let's take a look at the controllers here. We got the um, NES controller. Oh, this is sweet. Feels good in the hands. Uh, has that little raised uh, back there. I like that. It's a nice little feature there. Um, there you go. Uh, you got your usual start select AB, uh, nothing too fancy, extremely long cable. That's perfect for uh, gaming on the couch. And next we have the Super Nintendo controller. Same thing, same setup, you know, nice little uh, raised uh, uh, plastic at the back there for your hands. Uh, feels great, uh, feels really good. And again, the extra long cable as well. Um, so that's pretty neat there. All right, so let's see what else is in here. Pull this up here. And I guess this is where all the uh, the good stuff's at. All right, there's a power brick. There's your AV cable. You got your HDMI. Uh, that's pretty neat that they include them, but I have so many extras that I'm not really gonna use that one. So I'll go ahead and put that one back. And as well as this right here, uh, I'm just gonna hold on to them, but I'm probably not gonna use them. AV, standard AV cables here. Uh, and then of course, the um, things that you really need is here's the cable for power and you got your power brick. So I'll tell you what guys, let's go ahead and uh, set this up and uh, let's see some uh, gameplay footage. So let's get into that next. All right, so first game we have up is gonna be uh, 1943 and that's for the NES. Um, I don't know if anybody of you remembered um, the uh, 1942, 1943 or whatever on the arcade. Uh, so this is pretty much like a little plane shoot em up game, I guess you could call it. Uh, kind of reminds me of Galaga a little bit. Uh, you know, the way the planes come in, you gotta shoot them and they turn and whatnot. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. So far, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the uh, look of this. It looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm not too sure if the colors are probably not going to be true to, I guess, what they look like on the actual, uh, you know, CRT TV. But uh, for me personally, I think I'm, I'm pretty good with it the way it looks. Um, I 
can see that it's a little some of the planes are a little i guess you could say like like glitchy or, or something like that um but honestly I, i'm not you know it's not really a big deal for me um i do uh enjoy being able to play these uh games these old cartridges on um you know hgtv and whatnot and i know i'm gonna sacrifice uh, with these a little bit uh, lower end um you know um retro consoles i know it's gonna be you know um you're gonna have to give and take with some things you know what i mean uh, but honestly for for the price and for you know what uh what i want to do with it is you know play every once in a while with the uh, older uh you know nes and super nintendo games on my hd television this is uh, gonna work perfectly so uh like i said um i don't notice anything any kind of lag with the controller i'm mashing the button i'm pretty sure you can hear me i'm mashing the button everything's good uh, i don't see any issues with it uh there's a power up there um so i mean i give this you know eight out of ten i guess you know uh for uh, just a little bit of that weird kind of glitchiness with the planes and stuff like that uh but other than that i mean this is a pretty good little addition to my collection here uh to like i said play be able to play uh nes and super nes games uh, so I tell you what guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, game and I'm actually going to be playing uh, on the uh, Super Nintendo next so uh, Let's do that right now. Alright guys next up is obviously Zombies Ate My Neighbors now Definitely recommend this game if you've never played it before. Uh, it's a pretty fun game uh, You can also uh, play two players with this game now. Uh, this is one of my um, <clears throat> Top 10 I would say Super Nintendo games uh, that I've uh, ever played now um with this game here, um, the colors look uh, perfectly fine to me. I don't see any issues. The uh, controller works great. Um, let's see here. Let me get some of these people real quick. Alrighty. So, um, you know, if any of you never played it before, basically the object of the game is to uh, get all these uh, neighbors uh, safe uh, before the uh, there's a little dog there. Uh, before the zombies here, uh, you know, obviously eat your neighbors <laughs> So, um, you know, it's a pretty fun game. I uh, wonder if they'll ever make like a remake of this or whatever uh, I know I saw online that there was a gentleman I believe that made a uh, uh, Like doom Like knockoff version of this game to where it was like first person. Uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know um, You know if it's just you know online or whatever or, like you gotta download it on the computer or whatever, but uh, I saw that it was pretty neat but uh, like I said, you know, if they were to actually make this remake this game, uh, I think it'd be pretty awesome. Now, um, hopefully, they probably will keep it similar to this style, just with better graphics. I think that'd be cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can see here that the uh, you know everything's good. Uh, I don't see really, honestly, any issues. Kind of like on the you know NES with a little bit of like glitchiness on the pictures or whatever. Uh, everything looks pretty good to me, honestly. Um, Definitely think this is a good way to play your Super Nintendo games on your uh, HD televisions. Um, definitely recommend this uh, to uh, anyone that wants to play their Super Nintendo cartridges on their uh, HD television. So um, I say I got a bonus for all the citizens. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's play a little bit more here, and then we'll move on and uh, do my closing remarks. But uh, honestly, I can tell you with the Super Nintendo. Um, portion of this uh, works really well so um, I highly recommend it if you have your Nintendo Super Nintendo and Super Famicom cartridges and you want to play in your HE television it's definitely a low-cost option guys so check it out if you can that being said thank you so much for watching the video thank you for subscribing to the channel and if you haven't yet already leave a comment let me know what you think and we'll see you next time